Hey there, team. Back again. I missed you all yesterday. Hey there, team. Back again. I missed you all yesterday. Um, but I guess it is kind of nice if you like normal life to take a sick day. Um, hold on, I'm just getting the workout typed up. There we go. All right, so materials today it kind of sounds confusing. Um, I highly recommend to heavy-ish jugs with handles. Um, these are gonna stay on the floor. They don't have to go overhead, so I think a milk jug or a water jug would be pretty safe. Um, laundry soap. Uh, you could do a small bag with weighted objects in it. It's not ideal because it's so high from the ground, but that is an option. Um, and then the second thing that you're gonna want is something you can push overhead. So I'm using this for my weighted object. But I definitely don't want to put this over my head because I just, I know in 36 years the type of luck that I have and this will definitely open and make a mess. Um, so I would recommend uh, canned goods are a good weight. Um, maybe books or some other object you can kind of hold in your hand and push up. Say I'm going to be using a broom um, modeled by this PVC, but if you don't have just plain PVC, a broom works. Most important your own music. Otherwise, you're either going to hear me breathing heavy, my laundry machine running because it's right behind that door, or my son's homework because he's doing school right above me. Um, so yeah, with that, we're going to get started. It's a little bit longer workout today, but it's work domains. So even though 18 minutes sounds like a long time compared to the usual 8 to 12 we've been doing, you can slow down your pace to honor the fact that you're going to go longer. Um, I have a new format on Facebook, so I'm totally, I don't know the word, I just can't figure it out. But I do see that Nellie's here, so I'm super stoked about that. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment, and I'll awkwardly run up to my computer screen and look at them, and you'll get to see my face and my super cool purple bow. It's my version of dressing up for you today. Anyways, our focus is just keep swimming. So sometimes you gotta just do the work, like head down, nose to the grind zone, get it over with. It's Thursday. I had to take a sick day yesterday. Coming back today, that was the, the thing I had to go with. But you know what? It worked. I set aside some time this morning to catch up, put my nose to the grind zone, just kept swimming, and lo and behold, it got done, and I feel so much better. Um, so hopefully the workout will do that for you too. So we're gonna go ahead and warm up. First thing we're gonna do is swing our arms side to side 10 times. And then up and down 10 times. And then you're gonna do the same thing with your legs. I recommend holding on to the wall. So it's forward and back 10 times. And then side to side 10 times. And then switch to your other leg. Okay, let's get to know our moves. So our first move, if you can see it in the chat, um, and for those of you that can't, I'll just talk to you about it. It's called a thruster. It's a squat and a push press. Um, so you can do this with two cans. You can hold them here. If you trust your, your jugs, you can put them there. Your laundry soap, whatever it is. I got my broom. 
So you put it on your shoulders, you're gonna do a squat, and then when you come out of the squat, you're gonna push it overhead. That's one. Down. That's two. That's three. Go ahead and do five. And while you do your last one, we'll prepare to do our second move, which is a deadlift, which means we want to use our posterior. Um, I'm just going to move this so you can want to make sure you see. What you're going to do is take your two drugs, make sure your feet are hip width apart, and you're going to bend over, touch the ground, and stand up. I'm going to turn the side so you can see. It starts by pushing your hips back and then down and up. You kind of want to make sure the, the jug which should follow your shin. Um, so I'm going to take this one away so you can kind of see the angle. It's hips back and then down and up. Okay? Let's move two. Move number three is jumping lunges. If these aren't friendly on your knees, just do a normal lunge, okay? So a lunge means I'm hip width apart, but a step forward, keeping that nice width, touch my knee, and come up. A jumping lunge means I'm gonna step forward, touch my knee, but instead of stepping up, I'm gonna jump and switch, okay? Do a couple of those. The next one is a push press. So for this, you can use your weighted object or your broom. So I'll give you some options. If you're gonna use your broom, do the shoulders, small dip, push overhead, or just push without the dip. If you're gonna use one object and it's something you're worried about spilling, I would do one side at a time. So. And then switch to the other side. Okay, if you have two smaller objects, imagine I have some canned goods here. Probably be refried beans because I can eat tacos every single night. And probably coconut milk. You'd put them here, you dip, and you would push up. Okay, last but not least is high knees. So you're just gonna run in place. But instead of here, we want to go all the way up to here. Okay. Give it a moment. See if there's any questions. If you have one, type it up in the chat and I'll do my best to answer. I always feel like it's bad news when I'm out of breath in the warm-up. But then I remember that's the point of the warm-up. And our focus is just keep swimming. So even if the workout it's challenging. I just need to finish it. That's all. All right. Doesn't look like we have any questions. So we are going to get started because it is an 18 minute workout. I'm going to say three, two, one, go. We're going to do one minute of those thrusters. So in that minute, maybe you're going to do 10. Maybe you're going to beast out and do 20 of them. I'm not sure. That's up to you. But as soon as I say switch, there's no rest you go directly into the deadlifts. And then I'm gonna say switch. When that minute's up, I'm gonna go right into the jumping lunges, right into the push press, right into the high knees, and then we get a minute rest. Sounds like a saving grace, but the science is that minute rest allows you to recharge your breathing and your heart rate. So when we go back to those thrusters, you'll be able to do a lot more than you would have if you didn't get that minute rest. So it ensures that you get a better workout. Um, a trick I like to use, because this is actually modeled after something called Fight Gone Bad. Um, it's a crossfit workout that makes you feel like you're in the ring fighting, but we're just fighting for breath here. Um, it's like, I choose the one that's the hardest for me. So I'm guessing it's going to be jumping lunges or high knees. So I do those deadlifts right up to the switch, because then that takes a couple of seconds out of the jumping lunges. And maybe like five seconds before jumping lunges are over, I switch to my push press, getting ready and set up for that. Um, so that's something you can do after the first round. You're going to know which one of these you're not a fan of. If it's all of them, I'm sorry. Just keep swimming. All right. 
I think I'm talking to avoid the workout. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me get my stuff ready. All right, up first, we've got thrusters, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, start. So it's a squat and a press. Thirty seconds. Two more seconds. And switch. Deadlifts. Thirty seconds. Ten more seconds. And switch. Jumping lunges. And switch to push press. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. I'm 
starting in place and moving. Missing the clock. Five seconds. Pick it up. Three, two, one, and rest. Get water. Reevaluate your decision. No, just kidding. Big deep breaths. We're going to go through that two more times. If you're dead right now, slow it down a little, but just keep swimming. Don't stop. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, thrusters. Oh my gosh, I hope you have music. Otherwise, you're hearing my knees. Gross. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and deadlifts. Thirty seconds. 
three seconds. And high knee. So these are hard for me today, so I'm gonna do 10 seconds and then break. 10 seconds and then break. We're halfway done. That allows me to just keep swimming, but go at my own pace. Fifteen seconds left. Three seconds. And rest. Get some water. Nice deep breaths. Just joining us, all you need is two things to lift up, one thing to push over your head, a lot of deep breathing. All right, thrusters and go. We need to know what time it is. 30 seconds. shoulders nice and tight. Don't let them roll forward. Five seconds. Three, two, 
one, and press. Last time, do your best. And after this, we have one more set of high knees. seconds. Five seconds. And rest. Oh, not rest, sorry. I like to forget about these high knees. <laughs> Selective forgetting. I feel like a character on an app, like Temple Run or something. Like. Tomb Raider. That's way cooler. Just remember, this is our last set. We got 30 seconds. easier to show the stretches if I move here. Um, so the first one may be for our shoulders. Call it twisted T. So you lay down flat, put your arms out at your side. I'll move here so you can see. You want to keep this palm nice and flat. See how there's a gap here? We're going to remove it by rolling over. I like to bring my opposite hand in by my chest and use that as leverage and then relax. If you need an extra stretch, you can kick your leg. But I'm kind of good right here. All right, we're gonna switch arms. So you're laying nice and flat. Keep your opposite arm flat. Other arm comes in for leverage. Then we roll over. From here, we're gonna go to seated, put our feet together. You can leave them far, you know, a good distance, and fold over and get a nice lower back stretch. Or you can pull them in closer, and instead of stretching that lower back, stretching this inner hip area, whichever one works best for you. 
Um, stretching is just important, just as important as the workout. Um, especially if you find yourself sitting more like on your phone or your computer, your shoulders kind of hunch over. So reminders throughout the day to keep those shoulders back and down and open up that hip area. All right. One last reminder, um, we don't recover alone. Um, that's us, the staff at Recovery, who are in recovery. You're our community as much as we are yours. Um, and if you're looking for some other ways to get hooked into other rec recovery communities or even more involved in our own, I am going to put some links in the chat. They're also on our Facebook. Um, what includes mutual aid groups of all different dimensions, um, peer support services. You can hook up with a coach like myself or one of our other amazing coaches. We have Kara, Chelsea, um, Brian, and Eric, all available to help you through your journey and be there as a resource. Um, and I like to think of it as a wheel, right? Recovery is a spoke on that wheel, but your overall wellness are all of the things that help keep you moving forward. Um, a workout could be one. Maybe you go to a Zoom hangout um, on a Wednesday night, or you catch John early in the morning, or Brian's meditation, or Kirsten or Chelsea's talks, um, or Yana's reflections, and you can add other things to that. Healthy eating, going for a walk, creative outlets, et cetera, et cetera. Um, build your wheel in a way that supports you best. And thanks so much for your time. See you tomorrow.